What if Peter Shirelli was never the GM of the Edmonton Oilers? Peter Shirelli has been one of the worst GMs in the NHL in the last decade. Since becoming the GM of the Edmonton Oilers in 2015, he has made many head-scratching moves. If the Edmonton Oilers didn't hire Peter Shirelli, they could be a very special team. Regardless of who the GM is, the Oilers would still end up with the first pick in the 2015 draft. With that pick, they get Connor McDavid, a player who is a generational talent. At the same draft, the Oilers traded for Griffin Reinhardt, a player who was already trending towards being a bust. In exchange for Reinhardt, the Oilers gave the New York Islanders a first round pick in 2015, which turned into Matt Barzell, and a 2015 second round pick. Since Shirelli is no longer the GM, the Oilers don't make this trade. Also at the 2015 draft, the Oilers acquired Cam Talbot from the New York Rangers for a second round pick in 2015, and a third round pick in 2015, and a seventh round pick. Since the Oilers desperately needed a goalie at the time, they still make this trade. The Oilers don't sign Andre Sakara in free agency. This will help them in the long run. During the 2015-2016 season, the Oilers traded away Justin Schultz to the Pittsburgh Penguins for just a third round pick. While Justin Schultz struggled at times defensively, a puck moving defenseman. So the Oilers don't do this trade. At the 2016 draft, the Oilers draft Matthew Kuchuk instead of Jesse Poole Jajarby. In the 2016 offseason, Shirelli made two moves that might forever alter Edmonton Oilers history. Taylor Hall was traded to the New Jersey Devils for Adam Larson. This may go down as one of the worst trades of all time. Obviously, the Oilers don't do this trade. Then Shirelli signed Milan Lucic to a seven year deal worth six million per season. This already looks like a terrible signing. The Oilers don't sign Milan Lucic because they have Matthew Kuchuk. In the 2017 offseason, Jordan Eberle was traded to the New York Islanders for Ryan Strome. This is looking like another bad trade by Shirelli. The Oilers will instead trade Eberle along with a first round pick in 2017 to the New York Islanders for Travis Hamnick and Ryan Strome. In the 2017 offseason, the Oilers locked up two core players in Connor McDavid and Leon Dreistel. McDavid was signed to an 8 year deal worth 12.5 million per season and Dreistel was signed to an 8 year deal worth 8.5 million per season. Here is where the rookie contracts of Matt Barzell will help the Oilers. Since the Oilers have Matt Barzell as their number two center, they don't need need RNH anymore, so he is expendable. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is traded to the New York Rangers for Ryan McDonough. This is a great trade for both teams because the Oilers get a shutdown defenseman and the Rangers get a great two-way center. The last notable trade that Shirelli made was trading away Patrick Maroon to the New Jersey Devils for JD Dudak and a third round pick in 2019. Instead of trading away Patrick Maroon, as he would be a good role player. At the trade deadline, the Oilers acquired Sammy Battenin from the Anaheim Ducks for a first round pick in 2018 and a second round pick in 2020. With the offensive firepower that Oilers have, they make the playoffs in the 2017-2018 season. However, they are eliminated by the Nashville Predators in the conference finals. By the 2018-2019 season, the Edmonton Oilers would have a great young core and for once, a solid D core. This is how the 2018-2019 Edmonton Oilers would look like. The first line is Matthew Goodchuck, Connor McDavid, and Leon Dreistel. Second line is Taylor Hall, Matt Bar Marzell and Ty Ratty. Third line is Patrick Maroon, Ryan Strom, and Drake Kujula. The fourth line is Alex Chison, Kyle Brodziak, and Zach Kastian. The first deep pair is Ryan McDonough and Sammy Battenin. The second deep pair is Oscar Kleffbaum and Travis Hamnick. Third deep pair is Darnell Nurse and Justin Schultz. The goalies are Cam Talbot and Mikko Koskinen. So as you can see, if Peter Shirelli was not the GM of the Edmonton Oilers, they would be a contending team this year. But unfortunately, he is. So you never know what bonehead move he will do next. Next. What if the Pittsburgh Penguins didn't draft Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin? <laughs>